Good morning, it's Angry Turtle and today we are visiting 5 Starships manufacturers in Starfield that do provide unique items that you cannot purchase anywhere else in the game. So, and of course my favorite one will be last. So where are we starting? The first one, it's a solar system and that's a Deimos space station near Mars. Inside the space station, just run forward, over here, turn left, take the stairs down, and here is Nico Henderson that will Deimos offer you those parts. To you and to make things a little bit easier with the showcase uh, and a little bit more streamlined, I decided to place it all out to show you this way rather than scrolling the inventory. So those are the habitats from Deimos, and as you can see, the very unique, huge, three by three piece of habitat is possible to be placed. As well, Deimos do have my favorite Slim Docker top bottom swappable. Uh, swappable. It can be bottom, can be top. So that's very unique and it's slim. I cannot find equivalent anywhere else. That's the only one that fit my builds the best. Uh, that's the landing gear. The regular one and the side one, the regular one surprisingly has free lender trust, so very high lender trust for small gear. Then that's how the Deimos uh, cockpit look like. Those are the Deimos cockpits, that's a different angle. This is the huge Deimos cockpit. They do offer this one really high cargo, 360, 8 crew stations. So Deimos specialize in that. As well, a very nice and slim landing bay that you can get from them. And a lot of structural pieces that I organized here. Those are the structural pieces. So if you have any build in mind, that is what you can find. I'm hovering over them all so you can see the attachment points. If you don't see it, it's on the bottom. We I change the view a little bit. Yeah, some attachments. Some attachments in here, top, bottom. I don't know if there is any button that you can press to display or attachments. They do have, of course, windows and they have a horizon weapon mount side one. But a lot, a lot of those other non demos parts are shared. So if it's like those attachments, they do offer them here, but those are Nova Galactic or Horizon Defense. The demos branded ones are unique. Some other vendors can have some parts from Deimos, but there is not a single vendor that will have them all. So that's Deimos for you. Now let's head for the next one. The next vendor you can find at Titan. Titan Moon of Saturn Nova Galactic is in there. So that's where we are heading. The place we are landing at New Homestead. And here this time, it's like the only exception to the rule, the official vendor of Nova Galactic is Ship Services Technician, as they do not accept clients in the Star Yard. So this is the collection from Nova Galactic, it has very distinctive look, originally white, but obviously you can repaint it. Worth to mention that those unique landing gears are very small and have four lander trust. So that's really a lot. They have those more classic landing gears and as always some of those pieces you will find in multiple vendors, but never all of the Nova Galactic. Some are exclusive to this shop. And you have this passage, that quite unique, unique construction you can get from Nova Galactic, that you can connect habitats, just passage from one side to another. Uh, those are the cockpits, the small ones, and this huge one. <laughs> I love the look. It's amazing. Nova Galactic. Huge one. That's the landing uh, bay from Nova Galactic. Uh, crew attachment from top. And then some construction pieces. I really like this Nova Galactic bracer that they have to offer. The weapon mount. Some little pieces like this one is here too. A lot of radiators. A lot of construction can take place and some of those pieces have attachment to turrets. So if you use them as your wings, you straight up can mount turrets on top, which is not 
always so common, like in the case of Nova Galactic, they really predict that you will need turrets. So you have attachment for that or for other weapons. So this is Nova Galactic. Let's head to the next shop. Now we are heading to Hope Tech Store that's in Valo system that's attached to Narion. So you need to select the bottom one. Zoom in the planet Polvo. And you are looking for Hope Town. And when you spawn here from the fast travel spawn, just run straight. We need to get Out inside. I know there is vendor outside, but we want to have all the okay. pieces from uh -huh. official store. Head inside. And in here you turn right, you go to sales department and you talk you? with Inaya. Hope Tech never sleeps. Let me show you our inventory. So from the Hope Tech, you will get a little bit different looking components, a little darker colors, very unique pieces that crew can pass with weapon mounts on top and sides, as well as something called Hope Tech Hub Spine. It's a weird connector for hubs up and back front. It cannot be rotated, so only from front to the back. And this different one is sideways. So they have very unique looking stuff. The lander gear, those uh, two thrust gears, long ones. Then there are big legs, if you prefer, with four thrust and that flat one that I was using in my Borg build. As well, uh, the dockers are only side and front. There is no top or bottom from Hope Tech. They use front or side. The landing bay, wide with hub attachment on top. Uh, then cockpits, they go minimalistic, very small ones like fighter looking ones. There is no big cockpits here. From the structural elements, surprisingly much less choice than from competition. So depend on the style. Is that style you are after or is it not? So those are those elements you can get here at Hope Tech. We have two more vendors to visit now. So let's go. Now we are going to volley system. Planet Volley Alpha, Neon City, and we are going to Neon Core, not the landing pad. From the fast travel spawning point, turn left, even more left, and you are running in here. It's Trout Eklund. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the names right, so please forgive me. And here inside the showroom, you turn left and there is no person to speak with. You use ship services, automated terminal, modify ships. And this is what they have to offer. I need to say from aesthetic point of view, I like those the least. So the least liked of me is now. And my favorite is coming just after that. They have those side mounted landing bay in here. I'm not really a big fan of side mounted, but you can need it sometimes. And as well, there is a port docker and there is a top docker non flippable. This one can be top only. Uh, the landing gear is I know, it's okay, I would say. The cockpit's functional, but I don't necessarily like the look of those. And then structural elements in here. I mean, those are probably decent. I like those uh, engine type mounts. Those can be used nicely in some builds. Of course, nothing is stopping you from mixing all the brands if you want to. So this is what they have here. Let's go for my favorite. And for my favorite, location remains the same because there is another vendor in Neon, a little bit hidden. So looking at the elevator, we are turning right this time around. And you run until the end. At the very end, there is elevator. So you need to enter this building. Nothing is telling you really that there is a ship vendor inside, but there is. You choose on the elevator, Tayo Astroneering. So that's my favorite vendor, Tayo. Let's go there. Tayo Astroneering. Uh, you turn right, we need to get in there, down the stairs, and we talk we with Veronica. Tire ships are more than transport. And just look at this collection. And no, I didn't 
place the same pieces multiple times. Those are all different pieces. As you can see, there are different attachments. It's either top or bottom piece. It's either piece with side attachments or without. Or it's different color scheme like gold plated, blue stripe. Like, look at those choices. Those are habitats only. Unfortunately, because of so many choices, there is no 3x3 free free habitats. The biggest one do not exist here. But look at this. Tile landing gear 4G plus pinpoint. Little cutie. <laughs> it's so nice. That's how it looks from the bottom. This is so cool. I barely fit those pieces around my ship. And the top docker, it's extender type. I would prefer if that would be flat, but at least this one is flippable. Uh, it's flippable top and bottom. A nice selection of construction pieces. Those side cover plates, one of them is different. There is a side weapon mount available on those, so I didn't duplicate anything. And Tayo Engineering is producer of my favorite piece, equipment plate. So you can put it on any top attachment and put a turret on top of that. So that's my favorite producer. That explains why those, why those equipment plates are so rarely available in other vendors. Style is not really selling to other vendors too much. Sometimes you will see those pieces, but outside of Neon, rarely. And one of my favorite landing base, because this one, it's very compact, flat, and crew attachment straight. So you don't need to build up. You can add a hub directly in front and like build a little small fighter if you want to. So this is, I, I think, the most compact of all the landing base. Uh, those structural pieces. And that's will be, that will be it. I didn't place all other like combat components, reactors and so on because... Uh, those are from other brands and vendors share them. So basically to get all other components, you need to check only two vendors. One vendor at Neon and one vendor in Atlantic City, uh, the main one, then the one to, next to the landing pad. If you check those two vendors, you should see absolutely everything from other components. There are only two different sets, so not as many vendors to visit. But look at that tile, my favorite brand. You can really build some crazy stuff out of it. And if you are still here, thank you a lot for watching. Thank you a lot for your subscriptions and for your likes. I wish you a very good day. See you in the next one.